Welcome back to the channel, Elves. Hello. Hi, everyone. Yes, we are rested. It is time to get back into the swing of things. Hope everybody had a lovely long Memorial Day weekend. I know I did. I traveled and now obviously I am back in the saddle and it feels good. Yes, hope you all had a lovely weekend. But yes, now that Memorial Day is officially here and that brings in the unofficial start of summer here in the United States. Thought about it, I said, oh, well, since it's unofficially summer now and we're totally in a summer state of mind, I know I am. I went swimming suit shopping and all that, you know? So I figured, you know what? I can finally do my spring fragrance roundup. So yes, I have my top 10 favorite fragrances for spring 2022 ready to go for you all today yes they are ranked and we're going in from number 10 all the way up to number one obviously everything on here i do like because this is why they're the top so yeah i'm excited to get into this list because yeah it kind of shocked me i didn't expect this list to pan out the way it did but yeah we're gonna talk about it but before we get into it all the way elves you know what we must do first lipstick of the day everyone we went with an oldie but goodie unfortunately it's now been discontinued from what i saw this is from mac and this is the shade steady going it is a retro matte texture i remember when this collection came out i was still working as an artist then but yes, it's bubblegum pink, and that is your lipstick of the day. Steady going. You might have it in your stash. Next up, we have fragrance of the day, everyone, because of course, we're always going to smell good, even when we're lounging. That's what I'm doing right now. Track suit flow. Um, fragrance of the day is from Mancera, and this is Amber Fever. It's been a minute since I wore you, and you were overdue for some more love. Hmm, there's a hazelnut nut in here. Very nice. I need to talk about it soon. Full dedicated review coming at some point. Again, that is Mancera's Amber Fever is your fragrance of the day. Another quick segment I want to do is because I love when I get packages and I received some lovely nail polishes here in this box. And this is from Nail Reserve, formerly known as Nail Addict. They sent me over some new gel polishes. I was really happy about this. They sent me over a white polish these are gels that of course you have to set with the uv light so i will be playing in these because i actually bought a uv light during lockdown and yeah it's time to break it out and use it so i'm very excited about this so yeah we have a purple color they sent oh magenta that's pretty and yeah so and we got some base colors in here too but very nice i do appreciate again from Nail Reserve, formerly known as Nail Addict. I do have a code for you all to use. It's for you all's benefit. It's for 50% off. I have the write-up and the information for you all in the description box below. But yeah, we got some new nail polishes because hey, it's summertime now. So now let's get into this top 10 spring 2022 fragrances. Yay. Spring was good. It was a good time. But yeah, let's talk about how we were smelling and in the number 10 spot. This goes to Velvet Vanilla from the house of Man Sarah. Look how this fun this bottle is. You all, this literally smells like powdered bubble gum with some white florals, but this is just sugary, sweet goodness. And I picked it up right smack dab in the middle of spring and it was really, really fun because again, it smells like powdered sugar. So if you like bubble gum, but you want a grown up version that's gonna last a long time, yeah velvet vanilla and i will say y'all this was a blind buy so i will be talking more about that soon in another video but yes velvet vanilla from mancera is the number 10 fragrance in this top 10 video <laughs> in the number nine spot this one was a slow burn because at first when i got it i still was kind of on the fence about it but it really took between spring and winter to really fall in love with this fragrance and i'm talking about none other than tom ford's noir de noir i do have a full dedicated review of this fragrance up on the channel you all this is chocolate truffles dark floor this is just really deep dark and sexy but it took that cool spring weather when it was like 40s 50s when winter was still fighting back it took that season for this scent to really open up on my skin and for me to really understand it this scent is beautiful it's dark it's sexy and it lasts so this was the number nine because technically this is more of a cooler weather scent but again i didn't understand it until this spring this is why it makes my favorites list for this year <laughs> again this is tom ford's 
noir de noir and the number eight spot this one needs no introduction on my channel i've talked about it so many times it also has its own dedicated review video and i'm talking about none other than kaoli's vanilla 28 i mean hello brown sugar vanilla goodness and you just feel like a snack i can't stress that enough this is my snack scent this is my leisure scent i almost wore it tonight but i figured ah, i reached for something different which i did but yes i reach for this so much when i'm lounging because i just feel so yummy and delicious and again this is cuddling approved so this is why yes kaoli vanilla 28 you make the number eight spot on the list love this juice the number seven spot this one was a new addition to the collection and again i'm still very grateful and excited that the brand sent it over to me this is from kaoli and this is the eden juicy apple scent this one really surprised me because honestly i did not think i would like this scent I thought it was going to be too young, too simple, too juvenile, but absolutely not. The magic in this scent is in the dry down. And I must say, you all, this one is a male magnet. Guys really like this scent because it's sweet and it smells like apples. It's really, really nice. It has a little bit of musk going on with it. So yes, the number seven spot definitely goes to the Kaoli Eden Juicy Apple. And I must, I honestly, if I had like another list of like surprise fragrances I didn't expect to really enjoy until I spent some time with it, this scent would be at the top of the list because again, I did not expect to like this scent as much as I did, but I do. Again, Kaoli's Eden Juicy Apple is in the number seven spot. The number six spot, this is another one that has that's no stranger to my channel and i'm talking about none other than hello parfums de marley delina this one also has a full dedicated review on the channel definitely check that out in your spare time mm, that tart rhubarb note yes it shines in the spring and it's a powerhouse i absolutely loved this scent for spring i got it again for christmas time which i wore a little bit during the winter but to me this one really came alive with the spring weather and i loved it again this is parfums de marley delina in the number five spot this is one that snuck up on me as well i sampled it first i got the sample on a whim wasn't really thinking i was gonna like it but i kept sniffing it i kept getting whiffs of it and i kept wearing it as soon as I used up the sample, I immediately placed an order for the full size bottle. And I'm talking about none other than from the house of Nishane. And this is the scent Vain and Naive. This one isn't talked about as much. This one is not talked about as much. People talk about Ani and 100 Salad Ways the most, which, as you all know, I have dedicated reviews on those phrases. But Vain and Naive is, ooh, this is an underdog right here. It has a serious plum note in here and if you know nothing else about me learn this i love a note of plum because it's hard to come by oh extra de parfum you all this is a beast it lasts but it's a fruity beast this is so easy i don't have to think about it it's effortless and it hugs my skin and i do not regret getting this bottle at all again vain and naive from nishane this one is in the number five spot and yeah i'm just getting started with you because i'm gonna take you into summer i'm gonna tell you that right now so you might see it on the top favorites list for summer 2022 as well yeah so just get ready again nishane's vain and naive and the number four spot yes we're rounding this on out this one I just did a review on and because this is so good. This one is so worth the hype. It's beautiful. This is none other than again from the house of Nishane and this is 100 Silent Ways. You all in the number four spot. Y'all this thing is beautiful. I'm gonna keep saying it's beautiful. I'm gonna keep saying it's beautiful. I'm gonna keep saying it's beautiful. 100 Silent Ways is so beautiful. It's easy. It's fruity. It's white floral and it lasts because the extra de parfum again that's why i love nishane as a house if you all are noticing the trend i really miss with nishane because their scents just hug my clothes they hug my skin and i smell them for hours and hours and hours then when you factor in the clothes part i smell them for days because you can still smell their scents on your dirty clothes in the hamper mm. oh yes 100 silent ways again full dedicated review is on the channel about this scent so i won't say any more about it but you all this is just beautiful it's oh it's beautiful definitely get your nose on 100 silent ways if you can sample it for sure totally worth it in the number three spot everyone this one again is no stranger to the channel and this is from the house of valentino and this is valentino's donna born in roma yes donna born in roma 
the cult favorite at this point. She's still having a moment. Mm. I will say the hype is dying down on her because a lot of people feel like she's more of a winter scent versus a spring scent. Personally, she's a spring scent. I like how heavy she is. Again, it's that bourbon vanilla note in here that makes this scent shine. Totally worth the hype. Again, Valentino's Down Born Aroma. Full dedicated review is on the channel if you want more information about the scent. But I really kept reaching for this. I kept reaching for it. I kept reaching for it. I kept reaching for it. Totally worth the hype. This scent is very good and it lasts. It lasts all day. I smell it all day. Mm. And it hugs my clothes. So I think this one is very good. Definitely check it out if you haven't. You have to be living under a rock to not know about the scent at this point. And this is again, Valentino's Donna Born in Roma in the number three spot. In the number two spot, everyone. Woo, this one, I can't believe I'm admitting that this one is the number two spot because yeah, it's a flanker. Yeah, um, this one kind of stole my heart for this season and I'm really shocked. I was not supposed to like this as much and I'm talking about from Parfums de Marley. This one is Delina exclusive. Yes, so this is the exclusive version. Yes, the original Delina is on the list, but further down, but you all, let me tell you, I got the Delina exclusive version this spring and you all, I kept reaching for it. 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 I know I'm like doing things in threes today in this video. <laughs> It's this powdery vanilla that's in here. Still with that Delina DNA that I love so much because again, there's nothing like the original. Let me say that. But I just really found myself reaching for the exclusive this spring. I'm like, girl, I was thinking at first, did I really just waste my money buying the, this exclusive version or I could have just rolled with the original? You know, I'm actually very happy I got it because I keep wearing it. And again, Delina exclusive. I got to do a dedicated review on this one as well, but y'all, this one snuck up on me. It's good. Again, Delina exclusive in the number two spot for my favorites for spring. And now for what you all have been waiting for, the number one spots, my most favorite fragrance for spring 2022. This one wasn't even on my radar at first, but I smelled it while purchasing my Valentino Donna Born in Roma. I smelled this other scent and it stuck with me. I sprayed a little bit on a tester strip and then I rode around with it for a few days. Yeah, three days later, I had to have it and I've been wearing it ever since. You see it on my story. You see it as my scent of the day on Instagram all the time. I can't stop reaching for this scent. So obviously this is the number one. It's earned its spot and I'm talking about none other than my Givenchy L'Entredite Rouge. You all, this is a spicy tuberose scent with some sandalwood. You all, let me tell you, it's sexy. It's sexy, it's floral, but it's sexy. I really, really like this scent. Like I keep reaching for it and I wasn't supposed to keep reaching for it. And I, it, on top of that, again, I wasn't checking for this scent like that that hard. I even went ahead and got the big bottle. So this is a hundred mil size. And I'm glad I did because y'all, I really have enjoyed my La Intrade Givenchy Rouge. I smelled the original the other day too. She's cute, but no, the Rouge is just femme fatale. She's just alluring, seductive. She's all the above. And I'm just really digging this scent. So again, your number one fragrance, not necessarily your number one, my number one fragrance for spring 2022. This was my favorite scent hands down of the season. Le Intrudite Rouge. Yes, from Givenchy. It's all right, else. That wraps up my top 10 favorite fragrances for spring 2022. Overall, I have enjoyed fragrance wearing this spring because it was a cooler spring. So that allowed me to have some variety in here. Some things are sweet, some things are floral. We got a little bit of gourmand. So it's a good spread of fragrances that I've mentioned that I kept wearing. So yes, yeah, spring is over and now we are unofficially into the summer season. So yes. Oh, I'm excited to pull out my summer fragrances. That is a video for another time. But yes, get ready. Just know I'm gonna have you all smelling good for the summer. Yes, super excited. So let me know if you wore a lot of these scents or if you wore any of these scents I mentioned. What were the, your favorite scents for spring 2022? Definitely drop that in the comments below. I would love to know because you know I like hearing from you all. And too, if it's some other things you think I need to check out, some other scents I might like for summer, drop some suggestions in there because yeah, I'm 
I'm still getting my summer fragrance wish list together. And yeah, I'm definitely looking for more inspiration. Let me know what you think, elves, as always. If you're digging me, subscribe to the channel. If you're digging the content, like the video. And yeah, if you're not digging either one, that's okay too. I still appreciate you watching the video today. And yeah, on that note, I'm about to head on out and go relax. Because yeah, it's been a long weekend. I will catch you all in the next video. Bye, elves.